So many of today's best careers are built around an educational core we like to call STEM. That's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Now you can build that core while you're still in high school and give yourself the best chance at landing one of these top jobs. Today we're in Milford, Nebraska at a company that's using technology to change, among other things, the ways the world farms. Welcome to Digitech. Well, I am rocking the smock here on the manufacturing floor at Digitech with the president, Dan Pickerel. Dan, tell us what Digitech's all about. Okay. Well, Digitech is an electronics research and development company, which means we take products from concept to manufacturing to actually creating a product that we can ship. Nice. Yes. There you go. So uh, tell us about the kind of products you're doing. We manufacture products that are mainly used in irrigation for large irrigation systems all over the world. They're used as productivity tools to help the, the owners make best use of their time. Okay. Wow. How'd you get into this? I have a, probably started from an interest I had as a hobby in electronics. Mm -hmm. And I used to tear things apart, uh, look at them and say, what is it? How does it come apart? And how can I make it better? Huh. And that's what I've used in the concept of everything we manufacture here. Wow. And Dan built this company from the ground up. And uh, in order to do that, you used a lot of classes that you had in high school. Is that right? I had a lot of classes in high school, which would have been the uh, electronics. There was a, a basic electronics course, a trade electronics course, and then uh, chemistry, physics, all of those, math especially, was a, was a big thing. Wow. And so a lot of times you talk about Digitech, the people who work here, not just scientists, but also artists as well. Mm -hmm. When I look at hiring people, what I look for is the engineering aspect of it, that they understand what the electronics is. Sure. But I use an example of taking, handing you a canvas, oil paint and brushes and say, okay, you have all the tools to be an artist, but can you be an artist? Do you have the creativity to be that artist? Because that's what it takes to develop new products, is ah. creativity. Yeah, I like that. Uh, so what type of people work here? Like, what's their biggest characteristic? We have, we share a lot of in the engineering side. Um, everybody loves technology mm -hmm. and everything is so interesting. We get something, we want to tear it apart even still and look at it. And it, we feed off of each other's interests and excitement on looking at new products. That's cool. Well, Dan, I'd love to take a little tour. Wonder if you wouldn't mind showing me around Digitech. Is that all right? Sure, I'd love to. All right, well, let's start right here. This is the manufacturing floor, obviously. And so, uh, what type of careers are you gonna find here? You're going to find people who are in uh, just general assembly of the products. We have technicians who test the product. We have engineers here who manufacture the, or test the quality of the manufacturing. And we have process engineers that keep the equipment working properly. So there's a wide range of, of people. We have even chemists, you know, who monitor the, the, all the processes that we do to make sure that our soldering processes are right. So there's, there's a wide variety of people here. Yeah, because basically you're taking an idea and bringing it all the way to shipping it out. That's right. Yes. And one of the things that you have to really look at in a manufacturing facility is quality of what you turn out that it's going to work and it's going to be something that the customer is proud of owning. Wow, so engineers, chemists, the people who are testing the product and the people who are assembling, do they have any kind of degrees or certifications? Yes, they're not so much in manufacturing because they're projects that you know they're, they're given to just assemble. They follow an assembly list and they put them together. So they really don't have a lot of, of formal education beyond high school for that. But when you get into some of the processes where it's it's testing, they're they're either a uh, like a community college degree mm -hmm. or even beyond that. But but they have to understand what they have to do to test. Sure. All right. Let's go to the next stop. All right, we're desmocked for the second part of the tour. This is the engineering department. What's going on here? This is where we create a lot of the products that we we come up with from its conception to an actual product. Okay. And where we're standing here right now is where we actually test the the final products out to make sure that they're working properly and that you know all of our designs that we did are, are correct. 
So what is an engineer's job specifically? Like how would you define it in a sentence? First of all, it's creating something mm -hmm. and understanding what you're creating Okay. because that's what makes the product. Yeah, that makes sense. And so you have different types of engineers working here? Yes, we have mechanical engineers, electrical engineers mainly in this one, and we have uh, also like product managers, you know, who manage the, the concept, you know, to make sure that we're on track and how it's going to get completed. Gotcha. And so they have uh, four-year degrees, some advanced, even past that? Uh, I'd say most of them are four-year degrees. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now, what's the brain of an engineer like? Like, what does it take to have an engineering mindset? You have to have an interest in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. The interest in electronics is something that, you know, I think if you talk to everybody here, they're going to say the same story. I did this as a kid, I loved it, yeah. and now I have a job that I do the same thing that I did as mm -hmm. a kid. And, uh, you know, and we can create some really interesting projects. That's right. And you can pay your parents back for all the stuff you <laughs> That's right, yes. All right, we got one more stop on the tour. Let's do it. Okay. All right, Dan, tell us where we are for our last stop. Okay, this is a, what's called the compliance lab. And what we do down here is we take the products that we designed and we put them through a lot of tests. We actually test them till they it actually is destroyed because we have to find out what it can survive. You know, like for instance, if you walk up to a doorknob and you touch the knob and you get a big static zap sure. when you're going there, well, that's kind of what we do to these circuit boards because they have to survive that type of environment. And so here's where we test to make sure that we did that properly nice. and that they can survive to make a reliable product for the customers. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. You get down here and just it's, like take out some stress. Well, it's, it's kind of a fun thing to watch it, but it's also a bad thing to blow up your circuit board you just built. But, but that's that's part of compliance because we have to make sure that they're properly operating. Wow, so what kind of degrees are working in this department? These would be electrical engineering degrees mainly, yeah. yes. So engineers who focus more on like pulling stuff apart, figuring out why it failed. They like to de they like to destroy things. Nice. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun to watch though. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to watch your products come through here. So electrically, any other compliance things they're trying to deal with? Well, there's safety, you know, like uh, if you had a product that you could touch something and get shocked on, uh, it has to be able to withstand immunities. Like if somebody walked up with a, a two-way radio and was transmitting, it has to be immune to that RF. A lot of things like that, just to make the products reliable. That's what we're testing for. Dan, thanks so much for taking me on the tour. Really appreciate it. Well, I'm glad you could come and take a look at everything we have here. Oh, I loved it. Love getting to know Digitech. They're putting the brains in agriculture and more.